the house of realness here lately we've been switching it up and you guys have been my fairy bombas but that's a whole nother story and i have spoken about that in so many other videos today i am here to put you on to like game you know, I'm putting it on to game. If you've ever been interested in a wig and have been curious as to like, I wonder what I would look like with curly hair or I want something that's not too far from my own texture or, you know, I just want to try something new. I am about to show you the most beginner, beginner friendly type of way to introduce yourself to wigs. Let me just get one thing. If you're wondering, that's Desmond. He's sort of like a guardian here. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Get comfortable, okay? I don't want this to be like any other YouTubers. You know how sometimes you'd be watching and you feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like how she, I feel like maybe she edited some parts because when I put on the wig, it don't look the same way she put it like, like, you know, or whoever you're watching. I want to show y'all how i do it literally i'm in the truck that's another wig for another story and another time but we're not here to talk about that wig we're gonna put this wig on but as you can see in the title we all over the place but we're gonna get to it what you're gonna need is a shake and go wig when i say shake and go Literally, a shake-and-go wig is, I don't know, I feel like, like that's everybody's staple for wigs. Like, if you, I don't know, I grew up, I don't know, I've always knew what shake-and-go wigs is. But this brand is called Shake-and-Go. That's why people call it Shake-and-Go. And this is a shake-and-go curly wig. And this is what the inside looks like. It's just tracks sewn on a ventilated graph with a little patch here, a comb in the front, and then two combs in the back. And then it has this elastic band so you can tighten the wig as tight as you want. So if you got a big head, if you got a small head, if you have a medium head, it doesn't matter because it has an elastic strap. Now I will tell you this, these combs are mad uncomfortable. They're mad uncomfortable. They stab you, they poke you a little bit, they give you a headache. So be careful with the elastic band. As much as you don't want nobody to snatch off your wig, if you're in a situation, well, first of all, if you're in a situation and you feel like somebody's going to snatch off your wig, then I don't know, you better be ready. You better be ready, armed and ready, because I, I don't know. Like, I wish somebody would try to snatch off my wig. I'll be like, <laughs> baby, nah, we don't play that over here. We don't play that over here, like... I'll be like, oh, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nobody snatching my wig. So I don't really got to worry about that. So I don't really be using the comb. So they don't really hurt me as much. But I don't know. If you're in a situation where somebody might snatch your wig, you might want to use the combs. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, like, let's just keep it a buck fifty here. If you in a setting where you're like, let's just say doing grown folks business, because we got to keep it PG-13 here on YouTube for all my new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, you're like, how did I stumble across this video? You have made the right decision to stay. And I hope that you continue to stay. We go off in a little bit of a side tangent, but we always come back and we teach you what's up. So, boom. This is the Shake and Go wig. I showed y'all the brand. I show you what it looks like. Now, let me tell you how I acquired this wig now this wig originally was $15.99 okay cool it's worth that but they had a 50% off at this particular beauty supply now when I say beauty supply I don't mean Sally's beauty supply that's not really where it's at you know this is like your local beauty supply you know that sells wigs, that sells lashes. Like if your beauty supply doesn't sell wigs, lashes, feminine wash, um, packed hair, ponytails, wigs, you know, like if it don't have braiding hair, if it don't have Marley hair, if it don't have faux locks, if it don't have, you know, just all the latest passion twists, like all the latest styles, that, that that's not really the beauty supply. You don't, you're not going to that beauty supply. You're going to the beauty supply that has a lot of diversity, you know? Tratamientos from your hair from different countries, you know? 
Like, if you guys ever use the silicone treatments, the silicone mix, that's a good treatment. But we're not here to talk about that either. But this is where I got that wig. Now, it had a 50% sale off the wig. So $15.99, 50% off. You do the math. I'm not doing the math. So when the lady showed me the wig, she brought it to me in the box. And I was like, but what about the wig on the mannequin? She was like, she was like, you want to see it? I was like, yeah, can you bring it down? I was like, how much would the wig be on a discount if I get the one right off the mannequin? And she's like, well, you know what? We still have a couple of wigs. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm ready to just buy the wig right now and I'll give you cash. Like, how much would you give me? So, boom, she was like, I guess like, what, like $7.99? I was like, perfect. Boom, bought the wig for $7.99. When it was $15.99, 50% off, I bought the wig straight off the mannequin. The reason why I bought the wig straight off the mannequin is because I know how to work with synthetic wigs. Synthetic wigs are not like human hair wigs. You wash synthetic wigs with hot water and fabric softener. Like, you know, the one that you use to wash your clothes, fabric softener. And that's how you wash your wigs. So I brought it home. Now, luckily enough, this wig was never tried on. It was all the way on the top shelf. And most people, they stray away from curly wigs because they're like, mm, I don't know. But my hair is curly, so it's really not that far off from my hair. Honestly, when I've worn this wig for people who are already subscribed and been following me, um, they already seen this wig. To those who are new, thank you for like staying and really like you know, following through. I mean, when you go back and you start watching new videos of mine or old videos, you're going to be like, oh my God, I did not know all this about this girl. I thought she was just teaching me about the wig. But um, no, yeah, you know, your girl has lived. She's lived. So because I'm using this as a protective style, I have this oil that I created. It's a mixture of oils. It has rosemary oil and amala oil. If you are not familiar with amala oil after I post this video, please come back. I encourage you to come back, re-watch the video, and I will put Amazon links to the amala oil and the rosemary oil that I use to create this hair oil if you're interested. So that's a little incentive for you guys to come back and re-watch because it is highly encouraged and while you're at it hit the thumbs up hit that like and subscribe and then turn off that notification bell and if you still are missing me that means that youtube's trying to play with me but that's okay we still trying to go after it we still showing love so you're gonna hit that notification bell again to turn it off but then turn it right back on and if that doesn't work then uh, i don't know I guess you're going to have to be alert and ready for me. Alert and ready for me at all times because I'll be coming on here. Your girl's trying to make a couple of coins. So that's why the views really count and the interactions count as well. Because, you know, let me tell you something. We all have those group of haters in our lives that as soon as you do something or make a move, you already got a, a flock of, of pigeons that have uh, squawking opinions. They be like, purr, purr, purr. And you're like, come on now, come on now. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And you get a little annoyed, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just taking my little hair oil. Choose whatever hair oil of your choice. Whatever treatments that you use for your hair. I've already used a cream moisturizer. And now I'm sealing it with an oil base because I have curly hair. And somebody tried to play me um, like a month ago and told me that my hair wasn't going to grow. And I've been a little stressed out. Like, you know, how all life is. Sometimes you have those stressful moments. And I feel like my hair has been um, getting a little dry and brittle with the California weather. I'm from California right now, but I'm originally from New York. For those who are new to the fam and they want to know a little bit about me. Um, I'm originally from New York, Brownsville, New York. Or Brown, Brownsville, New York. You see me? You could tell I'm from Brownsville. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Brooklyn. Bro All right. Let me get back to the program because I don't want people to be like, uh-uh, she is too all over the place. Let me tell you something. I'm sort of like the anti-YouTuber. I'm trying to keep things real. That's why I went live because I'm like, you know what? Let me show them that this is really how you do the wig in real color, you know? Like live and living color. Like this is how you do it. 
So I'm going to just moisturize, put this oil all over my hand. Make sure I saturate the ends and then give myself a little scalp massage to increase circulation. Really, really get to my edges because I don't know about you, but when it comes to my hair falling out because of stress, my edges are the first things to go. And I'm like, yo, why is it that I can't formulate a long, a long enough relationship with my edges? And that makes me feel like maybe that's something I need to work out in life, you know? Like maybe, maybe once I figure out my edges, then I can figure out everything else in life. So we working at it. We working at it together. Me and my edges are having a conversation. I'll be talking to my edges every day when I be massaging it. I'll be like, edges, I want you to be like little sprouts. Like little, little broccoli sprouts. And I'm just tending to you and I'm watering you and I'm talking to you. Like how you talk to plants. And I'm just, you know, hoping that they grow. And with the physical contact and all the tender loving care that I've been giving them, I'm just hoping that my edges really, really see the effort that I'm putting into them and be like, you know what? She's committed to us now. Before she had her head in the clouds, she was dealing with all these bozos. She was going through life and she forgot about us. And you know what? Sometimes you got to pull away in order for somebody to realize what they had. And that's how I feel like life is. Sometimes you got to pull back a little bit. And I feel like my edges were having a conversation with me. And they were like, girl, we pulling back a little bit and we're going to fall off just to show you like how much you need to love yourself and take care of us, you know, like every part of you. So it starts with my edges and it's just going like a full body moment. I don't know. I'm on some eat, pray, love ish on my Julia Roberts. And I'm just going on a journey, you know, going on a journey. But I think life is a journey for everybody. Ew, is anybody new to the channel? I hope I brought somebody new to the channel. I hope I brought somebody new to the channel. Who's new to the channel? Shout outs. Shout outs. We're going to give you shout outs if you're new to the channel. And I'm going to know if you're new to the channel. When you're watching this in class, oh my God, no, I don't want to be a bad influence. Una bad influence. I don't want to be a bad influence, girl. I don't want to be a bad influence. I don't want to be, I don't want to be. Ooh, I don't want to, want to, want to be. I don't want to be, I don't want to be. I don't want to be a bad influence. Stay in school, get your degrees. Want to twerk like me, you a fiend. Uh, and I mean that you fiending off the flavor that I'm giving because I'm leaning uh, to the left and the right. I'm going to twerk it on sight. Make them dance, make it feel all right. Uh, ooh, your girl's rapping to the gods. We're going to swear to the... <laughs> Yo, I'm really rapping. Yo, I can't. I'm really rapping. You guys are getting like the nitty gritty. Y'all, I hope this really, like, brings a new era to, like, you know, improv improvisation. Ooh, girl. <sighs> Maybe you should have stood in ESL classes for longer. Um, shout out to everybody who went to ESL class because they knew a different language. I got teased a lot because I knew two languages. And um, I used to be taken out of class to go to ESL. So they could teach me English. And sometimes I still don't know how to say words like improvisation, improvisation. But that's okay. You know, sometimes you don't say words correctly. And it's just because your tongue doesn't know what to do. I don't know. Maybe my tongue is a little confundida. Maybe my tongue is confused. But that's for a whole nother conversation. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a twist method because I don't really want to braid my hair. I want to keep it in its natural curly state. Look at how beautiful that is. Ew, cute. My hair's going to grow mad thick. 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 Uh, 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 uh. My hair's going to grow mad thick. My hair's going to grow mad thick. Ew, please, please. That person tried to play me and said my hair wasn't going to grow. So I'm just going to do a twist. Like, look, I'm going to show you. Boom, 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 but mad loose, mad loose, because I don't want to rip my edges out. Ooh, my edges exposed, exposed, but don't worry, my edges are going to grow back. Oh my God, look how thin my edges are. I need to fix that. So I'm going to take this, and that's the twist, right? And then I'm going to like do like this.
don't grab your hoop earring because look at these big hoop earrings. Who's doing their hair with big hoop earrings? Of course me. Of course me because I do the most. I hope you, if you're new to my channel, please, child, I need you to know that I do the most. I do the most. You never know what you're going to get with me. I'm just out here trying to make the dream. Mm -hmm. I'm in Hollywood, city of angels, city of endless possibilities. So I just tied a knot in the back with my own hair. If your hair is not, um, if your hair is shorter than that and you cannot tie it in a knot in the back, then just use a, like a hair tie or a wrap or a little something. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this oil on my edges again because, you know, we need the edges to really come back. Right? Then I'm going to put this wig on. Before I put this wig on, right, I'm going to show you how to make your wigs look natural. Get some dry shampoo. Some dry shampoo. If you don't got no dry shampoo, some baby powder. If you don't got no baby powder, talcum powder. If you ain't got no talcum powder, cornstarch. If you don't got no cornstarch, then use, um, I don't know, use flour. If you don't got no flour, baby, go to your grandmother's house and you know in the bathroom, you know that like big tin like that and you open it and it's that powder that they be putting on their bodies after the shower, then use some of that, all right? I don't know what to tell you, but get you something like some dry shampoo. This is a texture spray, hashtag not sponsored by Tresemme. But Tresemme, if you're looking for somebody to sponsor, my P.O. box is in the description and I am open, available, and ready to do reviews. If you have a small business and you want me to go ahead and review your small business, please go ahead, send it to my P.O. box. Your girl's open for reviews. We are building a portfolio. So I'm going to do, oh, the reason why this is called the shake and go wig and why I love shake and go wigs is literally they're called shake and go wigs. You just shake it. All right. And because it's a curly wig, it's so easy. So, so easy. You shake that wig, really whip it like a tambourine. And then you're going to take this spray because you want to mattify it. What if I plop this on my head and it look ugly? That's a possibility. But we're going to make it look cute at the end, I promise you. We end this together. We ain't going to go outside looking crazy. All right. So now we got the wig obviously too low. And it's looking hella crazy, right? It's looking hella crazy. So we're going to move that up. And then we're going to play with the curls. Ooh, this is looking so crazy. You know what? It's giving a moment. It's giving a moment. <laughs> oh my God, I'm having a midlife crisis. Um, um, hold on. Um, wow, this is definitely, wow, wow. Um, um, this is, this is, okay. You know what? I don't have a mirror. Let's just blame it on that. I don't really have a mirror right now. Um, I don't really have a, okay. That's not that, okay. I just had to push it up a little bit. You know, I just had to push it up a little bit. It was looking a little crazy. And you just got to play with the curls a little bit. Okay, that's not that bad. That's cute. Ew, why y'all had me mad worried? I was like, I look so ugly. And I was like, never that. You could never look ugly. Not here on my channel. And on that note, because I really, really did that with this wig, I'm going to enjoy a cookie. You know what? You should always treat yourself. You should always treat yourself when you have a little win and you have a little accomplishment. Hashtag not sponsored. But my girl Jess came through with these cookies and sent me some of these Tate cookies and they're the buttery tasty. That's what it should be called, buttery tasty. Oh my God, let me tell you something. Oh, I'm putting y'all onto this. 
Oh, if you're wondering what happened, girl, I thought you was going to teach us the wig. That's it. It's that simple. You just plop it on and you move it back until the point where it starts to look cute. And then you play with the curls. And if you feel like some of the curls are long, you just stretch, you cut, and then you plop back on. But I ain't got no scissors. Come on now. I'm in the truck. Like, what you thought? You thought this was going to be like a whole matinee and I was going to give y'all transitionals? We live. We in color. I'm showing you what it is right now. Um, but listen, hashtag not sponsored, but Tate's, uh, Tate's Big Shop, listen to me right now. I'm putting it out in the universe. I would love to take a tour of your factory. I would love for you to show me how to make the cookies. I would love to be a representative of your cookies. I would love for you to, oh, you can see me on a box of Tate's, like little orphan Annie. And they take me in and they give me a sponsorship and they're like, you know what? Oh my God, let's manifest it on my water right now. Ooh, but no, let's, let's, ooh, I've been saving this. This is bougie. This is bougie. First impressions, first impressions. Oh my God, no, should I pop this bottle? I don't know what this is, but this is Monta, Mar, Martin Ellie's, Martin Ellie's sparkling apple juice. 100% grown fresh apples. In existence from 1868. Wow. This is like an old, old apple cider. Or sparkling water. Oh, this is made in Watts, Watsonville, California. Wow. I can go on a tour of the factory. Let me reach out to you guys. Martinelli's gold medal sparkling 100% juice. Oh, wow. Okay, so let me tell you about the cookies. So, Tate's, you should just change the name to Buttery Tasty. Buttery Tasty Cookies. Because they're called the Butter Crunch Cookies. And I'm going to show you right now. Oh, my God. First impressions and a mukbang. Yo, you know I'm a one-woman show, right? I gave you a wig tutorial. I'm giving you a first impressions. I'm giving you a juice review and a cookie review. Yo, I'm like so multi-talented. This is the second sleeve. I finished the first sleeve. I'm really sad because, you know, when you hit that second sleeve, if you don't got, like, more cookies, you think about, like, how they're going to be gone soon. But it's okay. We're going to have fond memories. So this is what the cookie looks like, right? It's called the Butter... The Butter Crunch Cookies. But they should call it the Buttery Tasty because it's so buttery. Look at that. You see that sheen? Ah, uh, And they're thin and crispy cookies. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. They just taste like brown butter. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. A little bake shop in every bite. Oh my God, Tate, you're so right. Oh. Mm. Look, let's read about them. A little bake shop in every bite. They're so right. The bake shop way. What makes Tate's bake shop cookies so deeply delicious? Ooh, let's read it like an infomercial. Espérate. Tate's, this is my commercial reel to audition to be sponsored by you guys. What makes Tate's Bait Shop cookies so deeply delicious? Oh, that's a question. I need to ask it like a question. What makes Tate's Bait Shop cookies so deeply delicious? It's something we call the Bait Shop way. It started when 11-year-old Kathleen King began baking cookies to sell at her parents' farm stand. An 11-year-old girl... Wow, 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 wow. Entrepreneurial. This girl was an entrepreneurial. Wow, 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 wow. Her love of baking and dedication to quality soon made her crisp, buttery cookies legendary in South Hampton and where, and where the inspiring of that eventually became Tate's Bake Shop. While our bake shop is still a local favorite, our cookies have won a loyal following from coast to coast. 
With Kathleen's intuition, passions, and principles guiding everything we do, so enjoy our one of our deeply delicious cookies and experience the bake shop way. Yo, Kathleen. Kathleen. All your cookies bring everybody to the yard. Mm. She used so much butter in this and you could taste it. Kathleen. Wow. Girl. Your buttery thin cookies is everything. Mm. Mm. I'm going to eat the whole thing. I'm not even playing with you. Let's go ahead and drink this. Ooh, look at the bubbles. <gasps> oh my God, that is so fancy. I've never had champagne, but this is giving me champagne. It's giving me Prosecco. Oh my God. And it's a glass bottle. Oh my. Oh, that's hard to open. Oh, wow. It smells like apple juice, but like the red, uh, the red apples. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Is this tacky to eat it with a straw? Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Hold on. How? I don't... If you have not tried this, go and try it. It tastes like you bit into an apple that was infused with seltzer, with effervescence. Like, it's not even seltzer water. It tastes just like sparkling apple. As if you took it from a tree and you ate a sparkling apple. It don't taste like seltzer water. It don't taste like... It tastes like a sparkling apple. Like you bit into a sparkling apple. This is amazing. Wow. I'm going to eat these cookies. I'm sorry, but I'm going to get off this camera. Mmm. 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 -hmm. You know it's good when you got to talk to it. When you talk to your food. Mm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I ever went to your house. If I ever went to your house. And I don't make a sound when I'm eating your food. That means that your food is trash. That means that your food is trash. Let me tell you why. When I'm really, really enjoying food, oh, you're going to hear me. You're going to hear me. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to be like, oh, my God. Is this like, you know, like if somebody else lives in the house, like imagine, like I could totally see this happening, right? I could see this where I go to my homegirl's house. She cooks and she really know how to cook. Or maybe we cook together. And I'm eating the food, and then I could totally hear myself being like this. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then, you know, my friend's partner comes into the room and, like, I thought y'all was doing something else. If I'm mad quiet eating your food, it's because it's trash. 
Mm-hmm. It's total trash. Oh, my God. All right. This is 30 minutes. Enough about the cookies. My brows are too dark for this wig. So I might just switch it into another shake and go wig. This is an orange one. But it's the same concept. You shake it and you plop it on. So I might just put this one on because this one's giving me a little more neutral. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all over on Bego. Should I go on Bego? No, because it's raining. Oh, well, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. Bye.